joining us with some more reaction to this and what this could really do of the markets. Could it protect investors from this is Joe McCain. He's the co-head of U.S. listings and cash execution at the New York Stock Exchange. And uh, what do you make of this circuit breaker proposal? I think it's a, a very positive step towards restoring confidence in the markets. It's clearly something we've been very involved in over the last couple of weeks, working collaboratively with the other exchanges and the regulators to craft something that will prevent another May 6th type event from happening. Um, I think this is probably the first step in a longer plan to address a number of issues that have come out of the May 6th investigation, but yeah. I think this is a very strong, uh, positive first step to uh, to restore confidence. Uh, and in your, in your view, I mean, in your sense, do you think that we could actually trigger this? I mean, I think there there's a, uh, a, you know, you just look at May 6th as an example. There's clearly a risk. You know, our markets are very complicated. There's a lot of correlation between assets. We have, uh, you know, a very, very big emphasis on speed in our markets, and machines can react in nanoseconds. And we have a very complicated market structure. Uh, liquidity is not... Uh, consolidated any longer. It's fragmented across multiple venues. Right. There's a lot of complex, you know, mechanisms that try to aggregate that liquidity, but taking a pause and allowing liquidity to aggregate whenever there are times of stress is probably a prudent way to deal with that risk. Is, is there anything, though, that is, that is left out in this, Joe? I mean, if it was triggered, is there anything that we're not uh, accounting for? I think that, you know, this, as I said, this is the first step. So I think what we'll see from here is, you know, we're starting with a pilot of the S&P stocks. I'd expect that will quickly expand the number of stocks that are included in the program. I think we'll probably tweak some of the parameters. And I think there'll also be some other initiatives that come out of this. You know, there's been discussion about tightening up the market-wide circuit breakers. That's certainly a possibility. Some of the rules for erroneous trading, I think, will get tightened up. I think some of the microstructure practices that have gotten highlighted, like maintaining stub quotes, right. the utilization of market orders, I think those things will all be addressed in in successive fashion, but I think in terms of just acting quickly and de decisively, the yeah. stock level circuit breakers were the, the best to start with. Okay, so a first step, a crucial first step, though. All right, Joe, uh, good to talk with you. Joe McCain uh, at the New York Stock Exchange.